Cluggers and welcome to AWS This Week and I've got some awesome announcements this week including Personal Health Dashboard which now supports fine-grained access control, RDS for MySQL now supports delayed replication, there are some great online tech talks this month which will be really good for anyone studying for the new Developer Associate exam. If you like building Alexa skills there's a chance to get your hands on an exclusive Alexa t-shirt or hoodie and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me Faye Ellis. Personal Health Dashboard now supports fine-grained access control using Identity Access Management policies. And if you're not familiar with Personal Health Dashboard, it's a personalised dashboard which alerts you when AWS is experiencing events that might impact you. For example, operational issues with EC2, Route 53, S3 or any of the AWS services that you might be using. Well now, Personal Health Dashboard supports fine-grained access control which means you can set up permissions within your account and limit access to sensitive alerts such as those related to security issues to only those who need to see them. RDS for MySQL now supports delayed replication and this allows you to set a configurable time period for which replication lags behind your source MySQL database. Now by default MySQL replication has a minimum replication delay but with delayed replication, you can introduce your own intentional delay as part of your disaster recovery strategy. And this can be really helpful to protect from human error. If, for example, a DBA accidentally drops a table in your production database, a replication delay can give you time to actually stop the replication before the mistake is replicated. This month, AWS are running a series of great online tech talks, and the topics they are covering are gonna be really useful for anyone who is planning to take the developer or the sysops associate exams. There are talks on serverless, DevOps, S3, as well as loads of other cool technologies like machine learning and IoT. Registration is open right now, and it is free to register. At A Cloud Guru, we are big fans of Alexa, and right now AWS have some amazing developer promotions that we are really getting excited about. Publish a new Alexa skill during August, and you can claim an exclusive developer t-shirt or hoodie, depending on your location. And depending on the number of customers using your skill, there's also a chance to win some great prizes. Now, if you haven't built an Alexa skill before, it's a really easy and fun thing to do. And for all A Cloud Guru members, we actually have a great new series called Alexa Devs, which will teach you everything you need to know to build your very first Alexa skill. Now, the promotions that they're running, they're available in the US, UK, Japan, India, Australia, and all across Europe. So why not get coding? So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were B and D, and loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Julie Woolner. And Julie is a database solution architect, and she's working at Zero in New Zealand. So congratulations to Julie. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. Now, please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time. Bye.